Rice is among the most widely consumed foods in the world, but in areas where rice is harvested and processed, rice husks are an environmental problem, with hundreds of millions of tons entering the waste stream each year. In some countries, the husks are burnt in electricity-producing incinerators. That process creates millions of tons of ash, because companies are now converting that ash into silica. And it, produce, and it helps make tires more fuel efficient. Silica is a compound that's mixed with rubber used in tire treads to increase the rubber's strength and help reduce the tire's Most silica in the market today is derived from sand, and the process to convert sand to silica consumes a lot of energy. Rice, hu Rice husks contain phytoliths, pieces of silica used to deter herbivores. Rice husks are burned as fuel. The ash was previously wasted, but now Italian tire company Pirelli is using the ash for silica. One ton of rice contains 200 kilograms of husks, which yield 40 kilograms of silica. When mixed into tires, the silica reduces the amount of kinetic energy wasted as heat. Petroleum refining for fluid catalytic cracking and hydrocracking applications, chemical processing, biofuels production, and air and water purification. Zeolites are characterized by an open three-dimensional framework of interconnected atoms, including silicon, aluminum, and oxygen, which form a crystalline structure of ordered micropores. This structure is what makes zeolites such effective catalysts and adsorbents, as it provides access to reactants or feed molecules. In petroleum refining, for example, long hydrocarbon chains, or feed molecules, enter the zeolite crystal through the micropores and are channeled to the active sites inside the zeolite crystal. Once inside the zeolite, the long hydrocarbon chains are converted or cracked into smaller, more valuable product molecules, such as gasoline, diesel, and other products. Of renewable resources. Considering there are